All right, Shaholics, welcome back to another episode. Just got down here to the surf on the north side of the island, and it's about six o'clock. It's been windy all day long, but finally it's kind of flopped out, and uh, it's getting kind of nice as we're approaching dusk. And uh, this area has been loaded with a ton of sand eels the last like week and a half, two weeks. And um, there's been a lot of bluefish and stripers hot on their heels. I'm actually looking at some turns diving on bait right now and fish popping. So uh, things are looking good. I'm hoping we can get on a quick little bite here before it gets dark. And I've got a couple light inshore rods rigged up, which uh, we'll get into detail throughout the outing um, and you know see what we catch fish on. But uh, before we forget also, today's video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. And I figured it'd be a good opportunity to partner up with them to help you guys save some money if you're looking for a great gift for your pops, being that Father's Day is coming up, or if you're just looking for a great gift for yourself or a friend, I'll put a coupon code here on the screen and some more information down in the description so you can save some money and uh, get a nice uh, compact sleek wallet and this one here is made out of titanium i think they come in aluminum carbon fiber and uh, look at this you can put it right in here in a nice small little pocket and you got everything you need and none of that junk you don't need in a big wallet so pretty cool and also uh, the new kayak is almost ready for its maiden voyage just waiting on one more component to come in the mail for the fish finder then we're going to get that baby out there and see what we can catch so be sure to subscribe to stay tuned and uh, yeah, let's waste no more time. Let's put on the head cam and uh, let's see if we can find some fish. All right, so we're gonna start off with just a little finesse fish here, Texas rigged. I think this will be a perfect bait to start with and try and just fish it kind of subsurface within like the first like five, six inches and see if we can imitate a sand eel and get slammed. We'll probably take like 10, 15, 20 casts here, see if we get any bites on this, then maybe switch it up and then keep moving down a little bit. Don't have a whole lot of current yet. Oh, just got hit right there. Good sign, all right. That's probably a little striper. Yeah, no teeth marks, so definitely a little bass. This thing, you know, darts side to side really nicely and has like a good color pattern to uh, imitate the sand eels that are here. There's a fish. That might be a bluefish though. I don't know, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> oh, we're just a baby bass. If you're new to the channel, this is what I call a diaper striper. There he goes. Now, that's probably like the smallest size we have a chance of catching today. And uh, I can see like, if we get lucky, maybe getting a couple fish, like 30 inches. <laughs> There's one. Ooh. This one's a little bit bigger. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty fun right here. <laughs> this is some really good light tackle, sporty action. It's just, he just slurped. Oh yeah, it's a nice stripe. He just slurped up this finesse fish. It's probably about 27 inches. All right, pretty good little upgrade. And a really fun fight. There she goes. Booyah! That's what I'm talking about. Now, like, I don't have a watch on, but <laughs> we've probably taken about 10 casts and fishing about five minutes, and uh, two fish are ready. Pretty sweet. All right, no bites on that retrieve, but uh, since what we're using is working, I'm just gonna go over my setup before I forget. So the rod is a seven foot medium fast action dark matter spinning rod. 
paired with the 2000 Tsunami Evict, and we've got that spooled with 10 pound test green moss power pro braid, and then we're using about a four foot section of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. So perfect for some really nice light tackle inshore stuff in some really shallow crystal clear water. And I think by throwing these small little plastics on this kind of light tackle, it really gives us the best way to fish these baits and uh, hopefully get the most bites. Oh my gosh, did you see that? That was so cool. Oh man. So what I was doing is I was like working it fast, then pausing it for a couple of seconds, working it fast and pausing it. And that's how this fish liked it. And he just thumped it. Oh, it's a little blue. Somehow this guy didn't get his teeth by the light line, which is good. So just gotta pop this off and get him back. All right, so that's just how we're rigging the finesse fish. Leader looks good, even though we did catch the blue. Let's throw it right back out there. Maybe fishing it fast and pausing it wasn't the move. Maybe we just gotta do like a jerk, jerk, pause. Jerk, jerk, pause. Fish as slow as possible. And maybe that'll get the bass more so than the blues. I'm always alternating my presentation just to see how different size fish or different species of fish will react to the same bait. So something to always keep in mind when you're out here surf fishing or just fishing in general and from boat, kayak, paddleboard, <laughs> anywhere really. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, well, we just took about like 40 more casts and it's been about like 30 minutes not another single bite. All right, well, it seems like the fish that are here definitely peaked a little bit at the start of the incoming, and that's why as soon as we got here, we caught three fish like right away, and uh, then nothing. So what we're gonna do before it gets dark is go to the other side of the point, try over there, find some different fish that might be feeding a little bit differently, and uh, just see if we can get on one more bite before we lose the light. All right, well, this is looking pretty juicy here. We've got a nice current sweep going from right to left around this side of the point. And uh, I guess we'll just try getting out on one of those boulders. All right, well, this looks pretty good right here. And you're gonna notice I made a slight change to my setup. Now we're using the 4000 Evict with the seven foot six medium power fast action inshore mojo. And I decided to make the change because this has heavier braid, I believe 20 pound, and this is a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. We're gonna start with the finesse fish still, but uh, having this slightly larger inshore setup, we'll be able to switch to some bigger plugs as that sun gets a little bit lower, which I think we'll probably have to do. But we'll try this for about 20, 30 casts, see if we get any bites. Then we'll make the switch. Oh, that might've just been a bite right there. It just looks so good right here. You know, I'm casting to the right and I can just not even retrieve it and just let the current drift the bait. Give it a couple little jerks here and there. See if something slurps it up. Oh, did you see that? Okay, good sign right there. There are fish here and they are hungry. So I'm standing on a big boulder right here and there's pretty much like a line of big boulders all right out in front of me. And that's where these stripers like to hang out on as this current sweeps by them. There's one. Whew. Didn't even feel like a bite. It was just like he was just slurped it up and he was there. Nice little fella. All right, let's try that again. So I'm just casting it to the right and letting it swing with the current. And I was just jerk, jerk, pausing it. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, well, we've taken about 30, 40 more casts. No other bites, really, with this finesse fish. But what I'm thinking we should do is clip this off, and we'll try casting out this finesse fish with, that basically has a half-ounce Fishaholic SNS jig head on it. And this will just be a little bit different of a presentation. We'll be able to get it down a little bit deeper and probably cast it out a little bit further. All right, so we'll take a few casts with this, then probably try top water to close it out. Oh, first cast, boys. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh wow, it's actually a little bluefish. <clears throat> oh, he's spitting up a ton of bait. Can't really see what it was though. He absolutely <laughs> destroyed this finesse fish. So what I'm doing so this bait fits that jig head is I'm just cutting off a little bit to this bait. and then threading it on just like that so it sits nice and flat up against the back of the jig head. Jeez, getting hammered by, I think, bluefish. Yep. I think it's time to switch to some top water. At least then, you know, if we do get hit by the blues, they won't chop it in half. All right, we're just gonna try the old reliable little smack it popper here. All right, I should be able to launch this thing pretty far and cover a lot more water. Maybe this is what a bigger fish will eat. Oh, I'm getting swirled on. Come on, come on, come on. Eat it. There he is. Boom. I don't know, he's jumping out of the water. I don't know if this is a small bass or a bluefish. Now he's spinning in like a spinner. Be a little striper. This guy is so docile. <laughs> he got like stunned. Oh my gosh, just look at that sunset. It's just absolutely gorgeous. That one slammed it. This one feels a little bit bigger. Or he's just got a little bit more spunk to him. <sighs> so I'm just launching this popper as far as I can get it and just pop, pop pausing it, pop, pop, pausing it. And it just looks so juicy right now, swinging in this current. And uh, it's like a perfect time of day and tide kind of scenario, and that's why it's working. And I think the fish kind of transitioned from like subsurface with the finesse fish to top water, and that's why this is working now. Oh, that's a nicer one, I think. Oh yeah. All right, it's a little bit better quality. There he goes. The popper bite, though, has slowed down quite a bit. So I'm thinking these fish might be transitioning back to subsurface. So let's let that guy go. We're gonna clip this off and switch our presentation up one last final time. And we're gonna try throwing on this Tsunami holographic eel. It's gonna look like a nice juicy big sand eel or small American eel.
there's one. Ah, that's a little bluefish. All right, well, this might be about it. Oh, God. All right, well, I guess that is about it. Uh, unfortunately, that was the one and only fish that this tsunami holographic eel caught and uh, it's already toast, but uh, it's the name of the game, especially when there's quite a few blues around, and this year, for whatever reason, is like the year of the bluefish. So uh, today's outing wasn't too bad. We caught more stripers than blues, so uh, it was really fun, beautiful evening. Uh, only a couple hours out here, we caught a lot of fish on some light tackle, so if you guys enjoyed, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to uh, keep up to date, and I'll put all my tackle and equipment down in the description below, and like always, live to fish fish to live.